video in which Alan goes paddleboarding. So this is me just walking down to the beach. Martin's filming, and um, it's just at the end of the RV park. This is after we've blown up the paddleboard. I wish we had gotten some film of that, but we were both pumping using the pump, and it's quite challenging, but it's not too bad. Um, this is the very first time I've ever paddleboard, so I'm going to take it really, really easy at first and just kind of get a feel for how it responds, how tippy it is. Um, the Colorado, someone told us, was flowing about seven knots, but I have no idea. Um, it is quite, quite a, a lot of current further out. This is a little cove where the beach is at the campground. Uh, and then there's a boat ramp further down that I'm going to kayak to at the end of the video. I actually kayak across the river, but this is where I'm just trying to get used to it. I started off using goggles because I wanted to be able to see and I have prescription goggles. I didn't want to lose my glasses, but it turned out I didn't need to do that. Eventually I put my glasses back on. Um, but this is literally the first time I've ever been in a, uh, been on a paddle board and I wanted to take it really easy. Um, I don't know the river, I don't know the paddle board, so I'm, I'm just sussing it out, trying to figure out how it works and how easy it is. I've, I've kayaked before and I've uh, river rafted or river canoed before, but this is the first time I've ever done the paddle board. It was quite easy actually, it wasn't a problem. The paddle board came with a kayak seat. It only had a single paddle and um, I'm gonna get a different paddle. I had to adjust the paddle several times um, and finally got it reasonable. I shortened it up as all the way and it, it worked, but it's not that great. And so uh, <clears throat> I'll eventually get another, another uh, like paddle, I think. But it turned out fine. It's got three fins on the bottom of it and um, was very stable. It's basically like a sit on top kayak um, here I'm working on the goggles they were fogging up a lot like goggles do especially when you're out of the water um, eventually I get frustrated and just put ass from my glasses and put my glasses on but right now I'm trying these goggles um, and just paddling around this cove not going out into the current quite yet in a minute I will um, and even then it was fine uh, it just took a little while to build up confidence and not be overconfident because the water, the water temperatures in the fifties and I did not want to go swimming. Um, and so I, I wasn't going to just rush out there and tip or turn over. Um, I was just seeing what it was like and trying to, um, make sure that I was going to be fine. See here, I'm out in the current a little bit and stop paddling and just float down the river in the current here and it's taken me um, it's not bad at all I had never experienced it uh, here before or on a paddle board um, the water is quite high at the moment it was down much much further um, a few days ago and uh, the water was moving quite quite nicely it wasn't bad there's no rapids or anything like that here the river is fairly wide and probably fairly deep uh, most of the time there are two channels. There's a narrow uh, bit on this side, and then uh, the main channel is over on the other side of the river. Here's where I actually got up on my knees. There was a guy suggesting uh, try that, and it seemed fine. Um, and then I sat down on my heels uh, while still on my knees, and that was bothering me quite a bit. So I eventually went back to sitting uh, kayak style. Uh, perhaps I'll get used to um, on my knees a little bit. Uh, I imagine standing up is actually a lot easier, at least at least on your knees uh, it would be. However, um, I'm not quite ready to try that here yet. I want to get, build up more confidence. I'm sure it'll be okay, but I'm just not going to do it right off the bat. Um, I don't want to over challenge myself. Here I'm out in the current again and you see I'm not really it's not rocking me or anything like that. It's just moving at a, at a reasonable clip. And I can paddle against the current. Uh, it wasn't too difficult. You'll see I'll, I'll go down a little bit and then I'll come back uh, into the shore or I'll come back against the current 
Um, it's not something that you want to paddle against the current too much, uh, simply because um, it is moving at a reasonable clip and you're really going to tire yourself out. Here I get a little tired of, of uh, sitting on my knees, um, so I think I uh, sit back down. Um, it is rather stressful on your knees. Um, it was for me at least, especially um, staying there for a long time. So um, I, I come over to the shore and I sit back down kayak style. Uh, but it was okay. I know that when you do paddleboard, you can be on one knee and one leg out front. Um, and, and maybe I'll try that eventually. I'm not sure I want to do it too much. Um, here's actually where I'm kayaking down to the boat ramp, but it, before I do that, I crossed the river, went, it went all the way to the other side and back. They're probably a tenth of a mile apart, and so I had plenty of time to go over to the other side of the river and come back. And the current on that side is quite uh, stronger um, than on this side. Uh, and I had to paddle pretty hard to not overshoot uh, the boat ramp. I, I was able to do it, but I wouldn't want to do it uh, for an extended period of time or have to go very far upstream, let's say. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And uh, here's where I'm coming into the boat ramp. This is a really nice boat ramp. And uh, the first, oh, couple of weeks we were here, this boat ramp was completely out of the water. Um, it is now submerged and the paver, there's some pavers at the end of the boat ramp that are also submerged. Uh, but those pavers, uh, another out, another, um, oh, almost to the end of the boat dock there, um, was out of the water. And so I'm coming back over now and I've made it from the beach over to the other side and back. And so I'm kind of spent. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I'll do it again for sure. Um, I've got a wetsuit, but you can't, I mean, it's too hot to be on a paddleboard in a wetsuit. So I'll probably use the wetsuit and I'll probably just go swimming one day. And uh, uh, I might swim from the beach down to here. I might swim across the other side. I'm going to play it really safe and, and uh, take it slow. I've got a uh, buoy that floats behind me. Uh, my wetsuit is, is black and green. Um, with an orange cap and then an orange buoy that's behind me so no one would hit me. And that we, we've seen two boaters the entire time we've been here. We've been here a month and a half. I don't think anyone's going to show up at the last minute. But that's, this paddleboard was a lot of fun. Talk to you later.